Might as well get started. I'll quickly uh, bump this over onto the workstation. There we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's going well this evening. I'm just going to turn on the light so I'm not so dark. All right. So what we're doing is we're continuing. It's a weird bug. It doesn't want to show right this moment. Hmm. But we're just going to continue working. Um, what else did I want to do? Documentation. All right. So if I actually go to the new beach dog slash blogs. Okay. I want to just open up this blog here. Um, what I want to do is I've got a bunch of new features and stuff like that, that I have stated that I want to release this month. Uh, one of those is the implementation of two-factor authentication, which I have been doing a little bit of research on. I'm a little bit been like, oh yeah, this sucks. Yep, yeah, I know. People will come and give you treats soon. Um, I've got a little, uh, some concerns with it. So one of the concerns is the fact that um, Near Beach has its own custom login page and it looks like I need to use their login page. Socks, come on. Come over here, good girl. Um, but that being said, I've only just glanced at this sort of thing. It could be that I could do the same thing, which is what I do with Near Beach and just have a template that I'd be like, all right, cool. Here's my own custom template. Please use that instead of the template you're provided. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that's the case. And now we do that for the resetting of passwords. Oh, stop it. Yes, I know. You want treats. Uh, so yeah. Um, I do want to play around with that on stream. I think there is a um, repository which I can actually download and just play around with. And I think we'll do that on stream probably Wednesday uh, to have a look at it. Cause yeah, two factor is something I do want to implement. As for the redesigning blog and screen, I think we're, we're pretty much ready to redesign it and so forth like that. I've had a good think about how I want to do this. So if we just go to, let's say test.newbeach.app. Oh, this isn't on the latest. Give me a couple of seconds, sorry. Um, just realized that it's not on the latest one yet. So I'm just bumping that version up. Socks, you know you're not meant to do that. She only does it when I'm talking. Ooh. There you go. She's just... Okay, there you go. You're getting pats. Or did you want it facing you? Is that what you wanted? There you go. Alright. Uh, we've done release 17. Okay. So whilst that's doing that, um, what we could do over here... Okay. is we've got the login screen. We've got a column and all that kind of stuff. We've got a login screen. If we edit this, we can have a div class equals alert and alert danger, for example, and then just in that div. And then in here we can have a simple alert. So I was thinking of doing something like this. Um, we can even go extend that further. Edit. Sorry. Um, let's say we've got a couple in there. We can also have warning and so forth like that. So yeah, we can have all of that in there. Um, that shouldn't be too much of a problem to actually implement. There we go. Uh, let's get bootstrap. All right. So 
we've got a bunch of different example alert i don't know if we've got titles and stuff like that like if we have a look at this um for the near beach stuff we've actually set up some titles and so forth like that we haven't done that for the our particular alerts and i don't know if they've got alerts that have oh no wait there here we go they do have alert headings and so forth all right this will work perfectly so if we just copy that and let's go in here let's just edit this let's actually just paste paste that in and that should work how we want it to um for the moment we won't create a carousel for this even though we could potentially do this as a carousel um, Carousels. I mean, this is fairly easy to do. If we just copy this. Let's go in here. Let's just edit this. Let's just paste it in like this. Oh, it sucks. I mean, we've got it there. If we edit this HTML. We've got image sources which aren't doing anything, but if we have div class equals alert, alert, warning, pain. Let's just copy this. Let's paste this in. Let's paste this in. Pain. Happiness. Hello world. It doesn't work as yeah no nah. we'll we'll just have this moment and we'll come back um for the carousel and so forth at like that so yeah something easy now this test app should be updated judging by that yes yes it has been all right sweet cool socks stop it No, no, you'd be good. I'm just gonna put this up where I can see it. Uh, hopefully that'll stay there. All right, sweet. Let's let's just get started in, uh, with everything. So this is this a feature of a bug. This is actually a feature. So what did we want to actually collect? Um, let's just jump into, oh, I don't think this will work, no, no, this won't work. Oh, stop it. I don't know why this is so slow at the moment, networking. Um, no, that's there. Oh, it's grabbing it from, all right, cool. We're not on the CDN, that's why. Let's go to our prod version. A lot faster. Okay, that's good. Um, Sweet, let's jump straight into it. Uh, now this is a new feature, so we actually wanna go new features for Kanban board. We know this is gonna be the login screen, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. Actually, one thing I did wanna check out with the network. Ooh, so we've downloaded 2.42 megabytes, but we've only transferred under a kilobyte, nice. And if I undisable the cache, that should actually drop drastically. Yeah, it's just dropping to the information, but it's gotten a lot of this information. Yeah, all right. I don't know why it's done that.
Yeah, it sucks. Okay, this is a bit of a concern. Sorry, I've just seen this bug. Let's actually put this bug into uh, new track. Now I am logged in. I want to go issues. So we are going to put this in as it sucks. Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. What's the matter? You're not getting treats when you're being naughty. So, we just want to paste this in, oops. But we are uh, Kanban board, uh, loading page, brings, uh, loading page for some strange reason sends lots of move card commands. All right, method one, log into new beach, navigate, to an open Kanban board. All right, expected results only the board, uh, static files and basic information is loaded. Actual results, um, the system keeps sending out post requests about moving cards around. Is this linked to an already existing issue? Let's have a look, because I feel like this is related to the sort issue. Is this related to the sort issue? I'm gonna put this as a major sort of thing. It's not quite critical, but it is really concerning, especially if it's gonna break something. A um, link issue. All right, we wanna add this as a link. So that's a relates to. Now this is a type bug. This is, in, I'm gonna put submitted. I'm going to sign myself. I'm going to have this as Kanban board. And I am going to put this as the current version that we want to put it in. That does mean that we are pushing another issue out of here. But that's fine. We can just do priority, uh, minor, list customers using, yeah, this one is going to the 19th. Um, and we haven't done much in here. Okay, so I'm gonna get distracted. I am actually going to have a look into this because this shouldn't be happening at all. This is a bit of a concern. So what we wanna do is we're running out NPN. We just want to run the Abit server. So we're just gonna hit that. I should remove that off the screen. Okay, so localhost. Jumping into here, we're just going to scroll down. We're going to open up our network tab. We're going to do Kanban only for the moment. And then we're just going to move a card around. All right. Now, the reason why that um, little modal popped up was because, hey, block card notes. Okay, so these are the move cards. All right, go in here. We do actually see a move card. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to first off stop this, put it into debug mode. Second, I'm going to go I need to clean this keyboard. Some of these keys are just not working. So we've got a bunch of different move cards. So we've got the URL, we've got it here. So 
What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close everything we don't need open at the moment. And then I'm gonna open up these three files. All right, uh, can be column, can be column draggable. All right, where it's in two spots here. And what I want to do before this hits, I want to know what it hits. Console log and then column draggable one. Uh, and then what we want is move card. We've got one and two. Sweet. Here, we want console log Kanban column. And I think move card is the only one here. Yeah, all right, sweet. So, and hey, Sandy, how are you? I hope you're going well. Welcome, welcome. It's gonna do a refresh. It's not doing anything, but we also don't have that card being moved. So I'm gonna move it up here. And we're gonna move the card. I'm going to disable cache and I'm gonna hit refresh. And we still got a moved card there. Column uh, all right, so Kanban column draggable to this is it. All right, so now what we know is it's hitting this when it's been mounted for some strange reason. It is um, causing these to be dragged. We're going to find out why. So this just about, uh, so we've got master list for each. There is an issue we need to fix all, all the variables and send that information upstream to the, oh. Okay, so there is an issue. We need to fix all the variables and send that information upstream to the back end and view X. Oh. Alright, I think this is an old piece of code that was fixing an old bug. So what it does is it sets up all the information. It's got the index ID. And it'll be like, alright, this is the new the position that this falls on. But it doesn't always work, socks. No. no. Yeah, it's down. Okay, and if we go over into our network and we have a look at the move card, we've got the request set as new card column one, new card level one, new card sort number zero, and then old card column one, old card, co oh. Hey. But if I hit refresh. Now. That didn't hit that that time. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Yes, I know socks. So check card order. Due to an issue, sometimes the cards will contain a negative one for the sort order. This is sadly throws a spanner into the dragging and dropping functionality. Yes, yes, this is annoying. When the board boots up, we will we will check to make sure the cards are in order. If they are not, we'll adjust them and upload the changes. All right, checks, make sure that there are no values under zero, make sure the lowest value is zero, make sure the highest number is length minus one. All right, sweet. So what we do, master list length equals zero. All right, cool. Don't worry, we're returning. Um, and then 
Salt Array, Master Lift, Matt Bro. We get the Max and Min. Uh, if everything's fine, it'll go back. Otherwise, um, Salt Error, Flex. All right, yep. We need to fix all the variables. All right, and that's when it does its thing. And that's what's happening in my production. Okay. And that's why my production has constantly been switched around and stuff like that. This is, yeah. All right. I think there's a dropping issue. Kanban card results, I'm opening it up. Actually, we want to go to the view X. So I'm just closing that, I'm just gonna open it up again. Hopefully view X is there, but there's always a bug. Refresh the page, components, yep, there we go, view X. So what we have is we've got Kanban and we've got the card results. And we've got all the different sort of things in there. We want sort order. Kanban column sort number. So if I move that over here, that automatically gets changed to a one. Which is not what we want. We want that to be a zero. So what we got to do, is we've got to find that particular variable, uh, sorry, find that particular method that changes that. Keep this in at the moment, because I feel like this can be the backup sort of thing, uh, making every sure everything works perfectly fine. Uh, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, so Kanban column. No, not what I want. Uh, when we drag it. So, if we scroll up, Kanban column draggable actually might be it. If we scroll up, we've got the templates, uh, we've got the at end, on end. So we want to go on end. So on end event, so update the sort order. If both old and new level column, level slash column destinations are the same, we take the difference between the two values. Otherwise we apply the two sort. Yep, all right. Oh God, this is really complicated. This, this particular thing, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we can get rid of that. Cause we know what this is doing now. So we get the Y data. So, new element, event to, old element, event from, uh, card ID, event ID, data set, card ID. Can I debug Vue.js in PyCharm? Debugging. All right, let's um. Uh, before you start, make sure you have Node.js on your computer. Uh, make sure a local Node.js interpreter is configured on your project. Open settings dialog. Uh, Control Alt S. Language frameworks. No JS. All right, yeah, that's fine. Uh, make sure JavaScript and TypeScript and JavaScript debugger and Vue.js required plugins are enabled in the settings plugins.
Yes, sucks. Vue.js, uh, JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript debugger. Yep, enabled. Um, and installed for, yep, all right. Create a new Vue.js application. Um, create a new project. Yada, 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 yada. Create an empty, yep, yeah, install for you. Yep, all right. Uh, start with an existing. Open the application sources that you're already on your machine. Yep. Check out the application sources. Yep. Download the dead dependencies. Yep. Run npn install yarn install. Yep. Yep. Yes, yeah, sucks. I'm trying to debug. Uh, all right. With the built-in debugger, you can debug your Vue.js code right from the PyCharm, which will automatically generate the necessary um, uh, run debug configurations you need and npm configuration that launches the development server and starts your application in development mode using the JavaScript debug configuration that launches the debugging session. All right. Yep, yep, yep. All right, in the field, yep, yep, yep. Configuration tab, all right. All right, let's just say, I can, let's just read the code. All right, so we've got the new element, we've got the old element, and we've got the card ID. All right, give me a sucks on the shoulder. So, uh, we let the, this is just um, some ver uh, variables for shorthand. So instead of having to type out all of this stuff, we are just typing out new card column, new card level, um, new card sort number, and so forth like that. So the sort number, the new card sort number is what I'm after. So the new index, all right, let's um, do a simple console log here. Let's go event. And let's print out the event so we can actually edit the, uh, we can look at what the data is doing. So we've got the new sort number with the new index. Now we might need to negative one that. Uh, the ID here, const data to send form data, data, so forth. Like that okay and I think I know what I got to do with the other function the other function I probably have to do a sort order by something so that everything's grouped up together yeah I think that's a potential Thing is what's happening. Anyway, let's go through here. So straight off the bat, I think we need a negative one there, but we'll find out in a minute. Uh, data, yep. All right. So that's just sending data. The card stays in the same place. All right. Uh, this card moves to a different place. All right. Cool. And then what we do is we just update everything in the back end, the upper stuff. Okay. So I'm just gonna hit reload. Is it still light out? No. All right, so this would have automatically been recorrected. Um, so if we actually go to the Kanban results, we should actually see that it's gone back down to zero. So we move this over here. It's gone to a one. Now the problem is it's sent that one to the back end. If we have a look at this event data, 
So if we just uh, store as a global variable, this is going to be temp0. So temp0 dot. Now, what was that event data called? It was called a new index. And that is a one. So if I actually create another card over here and call this top card, let's move this over here. So it's not taking over the top card. And then, oh, what was it again? It was a uh, new index. Still a one, but we didn't want that as that. We wanted it as a bottom one. So uh, we want to store as glo global variable uh, new index, uh, yeah, new index, undefined, all right, the problem is now this is all muddled up and stuff like that, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a negative one, then what I'm going to do, if new Sort order is less than zero. New card sort number equals zero. All right. Um, for the unlucky chance, a um, sort number is less than zero. All right. Now, I'm just gonna put admin card over here. I'm going to put also down here, bottom card. Okay. And then I'm gonna put top and bottom, like so. And that will make sense in a short while. So if I hit reload, this administration card um, everything gets fixed up. So I'm going to hit reload. Everything's still getting fixed up. What the hell? All right, let's have a look at the Kanban card results. We have a zero. All right, that, that's great. We've got a card priority two. So that's got to be this card here, number seven, but it isn't. It is... Primary key eight. All right, socks. Oh, sorry, Kanban card sort number zero. All right, then I'm just going crazy. Um, here, Kanban card sort number zero. This is PK one, which is this one. So the top one, PK six. That is a zero, which is here, which is what we want. Uh, we have a Kanban card priority as a two. And that is number five. That is, oh wait, Kanban sort number zero. All right, that's fine. And then we've got a Kanban card sort number one. For number seven which is down here so that's all correct so if we hit reload that in in theory that should not be happening so what I want to do is because this this functionality should be um, fixing it up Okay, hyphen two, what I'm also going to do. Oh, fat fingering everything then. And I am going to put
Now, I can get that data. And hey, Nocturnal, how are you? I hope you're going well. I'm gonna put the row in, just to inform me what's going wrong. So I'm fixing up the Kanban sort issue. This lovely pickle of a problem. All right, so we've got the target, near Beach Kanban card five. So this card, It's saying Kanban sort number zero. Okay, let's see if it's going through this and accidentally triggering a false sort of thing. So we've got the sort array. We've got the min value, we've got the max value. Um, if the min value equals zero, this dot max value equals the master lick list length all right, cool. So that should escape out of anything that's a one. But what went wrong? And why is it coming back here? Because that should be correct. Okay, so we know it's number five. Let's have a look at the database. Let's, um... Let's open up this database. Uh, let's go... Kanban card, let's browse table. It's number five. So we've got Kanban sort card number and it's, oh, we've got a bunch of issues in here. We've got a negative two, we've got a one. Are these values not being updated in the back end at all? And that's just causing issues upon issues upon issues upon issues. This looks like it. So what I wanna do, I wanna slot that over there. What I also want to do now, we're in debug mode. So if we have a look at our network, we've got the move card functionality. What we're going to do is we're going to go and open up that URL, which we did over here. We're going to right hand click on this and we're going to go to implementation of it. And we are going to put down a breakpoint. Easy as that. Then we're gonna hit reload. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five. Mmm. All right, so this is the Kanban card with an ID of seven. So it's this particular one here. And if you have a look at the board, it should be there. So this should be a zero. Not a one. Yeah, sucks. So, here we are. So it passes that, so we've got Kanban zero. We've got level, yep. Kanban card, card ID, yep, yep. So that's a valid form. So if we open up that form, sorry, this is gonna be in really tiny text. I do apologize. And we open up the fields. We've got the new card column, new card sort number. And that should give us a value. Fuck your head's in the way. Uh, I don't see it in there. I just see the form class, but that's fine. We, we can move forward. So we've got the campaign card level and the sort number. And that's saying int zero. And this should save it. 
All right. Socks, stop it. Uh, having a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. I uh, was swapping out my CPU cooler and ended up bending. Oh no. I had to order a new CPU. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh god. I may have broken something else on my laptop today. Oh god, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Hopefully it's it's not too, hopefully not too expensive. Um, hopefully it's not like my CPU. Uh, oh, yeah, damn. I am sorry to hear that. That is 170 ish. I'm assuming pounds, so about 320 dollars. That's still a lot of money you don't want to part with. Sucks. Ah, sucks. I'm just guessing that. That's so. Uh... Yeah. Ooh. I'm sorry to hear. Yeah, it's it's it never is. It never is. Damn. Well. Hopefully your laptop will be up and running again soon. Hopefully there's no more expenses. Um, so yeah, socks. Stop it. Yes. Come here. No. There you go. All right. So it's saying that this has been updated now. Okay. And then we go through all that process. Oh. Okay. Oh. I think I know what I've done here. I think I'm the one cause. I think I've over engineered this and caused the issue. And over engineered in a bad way, not in a good way. The laptop is fine. Oh, okay, that's good. But I suspect, suspect uh, maybe my motherboard or desktop also died as I bent the pins back and after a few attempts, it stopped posting and booting. It's cool. All right. All right, well, damn, still. Uh, damn. How, if you don't mind me asking, how old is the computer? Is it time for a, uh, an unplanned upgrade? Might help with, uh, you know, those docker builds, speeding those docker builds up, you know. Um, anyway, so what I think I've done is in fixing this issue through the front end, it's come to the back end and the back end's like, oh, okay, these are all getting mixed up again. I need to double check that everything else is in proper sort order and I think this is just causing a runaway issue uh, which means I've probably got to redo the sort order stuff properly which I can simplify it So what I can actually do is I can be like, all right, sweet. Um, here's everything from the old column. Here's everything from the new column. Uh, reorder these properly. This is where all these go now. I need to probably map this out uh, properly. So this is working perfectly fine. It's this that isn't. 
And I think we've overcomplicated it. We can really simplify this down um, to the point where we're like, all right, cool. We're gonna send back the cards new data. We're also gonna send back the cards current new column and which like we're going to give back all the IDs in the proper sort order. And we're gonna send back, if applicable, the cards old column and with all the cards in correct order. I don't need an upgrade, but I don't really want to part. Yeah, fair enough. So it might be a few small upgrades, but mostly just patching up. All right, fair enough. Socks is really sketchy today. All right, she knows you're there. So, where's our lovely, um, this program? Okay. So what's happening at the moment? Well, so if I move a card from here into here, it sends that card's new information to the back end, which is great. This is what we're going to continue doing. Now, the one problem is, at the start, and that, that particular function will try and deal with resorting everything in here and everything in here. Now, the one little problem is, when we boot up, we check everything, we're then like, oh, things aren't in incorrect places. So we send that information back to this, which then does the resort order without actually checking what's in here properly, which is what's causing the massive issue. So we've got to simplify this down. So what we need to do is let's take this example again. We've got a card. We've got to move this card into here. We've still got to send that card's information back. So I'm just going to say card info card info, uh, send back. But we've got to send all card IDs as an array from both the old and the new um, columns. That should hopefully fix this issue. And then what we could do is with the checker, we can keep the checker in there for a few more releases. So that hopefully um, people who've come from the old code will have their new stuff fixed up. Or I could write, rewrite a um, something that will fix it up. Uh, all right, Socks, I know you're getting treats soon. Just, just, just calm down. Um, all right. I think, I think that will work. Famous last words. All right, she's in her bed. We'll um, get the, the treat screen on. Oh, wrong screen. There we go. I'll get her some treats. They're in your bed. You know you get fed in your bed. You know, you don't get. All right, in your bed. In your bed. Pop in your bed properly. Hey, right. Max. There you go, buddy. She knocked the spider off, but she didn't realize that there was a treat underneath it. Uh, although an upgrade is tempted, then use my current one as a really beefy surf of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a, I've got my old computer behind me. I'm thinking of taking it to my partner's place. So that way I can still use it there.
But the sad thing is I can't stream on it. If you guys remember, before I went to South Korea last year, um, which is a year ago now, it's holy hell. Uh, <laughs> that thing, I used to type and it would take like about a good couple of seconds for all the stuff to start appearing. So yeah, I don't know what I could use it for. I mean, I could use it for a, um, Oh, I could use it for a number of things. I could move everything onto the solid state drives that are on it, um, use it as a testing machine or something like that. But I feel like this computer was built powerful enough to actually do that for me. You okay there, sweetie? Yeah, hop in your bed, hop in your bed. All right there, right there, socks. Right there. <laughs> it didn't, right, right there. Good girl. Oh, just. There's a dull light bulb above her. I love her dearly, <laughs> but sometimes. <laughs> I used to have a cat called Frankie who figured out how to unlock a cat door and then escape it in the middle of the night. You just hear this dum, 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 and she's uh, banging the cat doors, little uh, half moon pieces into place and she's then dum, 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 as she bangs the door itself to get, to make it bounce. And then she'd get underneath and be like, whoosh, whoosh. All right, so yes, let's get into it. I'm, I'm hoping someone, could someone clip that, please? <laughs> I, I'm a bit upset that I was in the workstation scene, but oh well, she's fine. There she is. Alright, I'll set your bed upright. You've got to stop leaning all the way back. He's only smart at breaking into his brother's food bowl. Ah, uh, she's okay. It's not the first time she's done that, nor the last. I was just not keeping an eye on her, so I wasn't able to catch her in time. She did it at almost last stream, I think. Alright. I don't even know how she did that. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to drawing this diagram. Um, so the idea is we want to send everything back. Yeah, she doesn't learn. She, she just doesn't. Um, Alright. So, we'll need to... Essentially change a lot of this. So, we still need the Kanban card IDs. That's perfectly fine. This... Particular form, though... We need to modify... Okay, so we'll need it as an array of numbers. And this is where I need to Django forms array field. Array of objects. In one form. Uh, I don't think this is what I wanted. I'm trying to create a Django, I thought, sorry. I'm trying to create a form in Django that can create one student object with two current objects in the same one. All right, I don't think that's what we wanted. All right, let's have a look. Ah, oh, this is already zoomed in. 
had the ability to submit and Sox has decided that yep she's done with her treats she's cleaned up she's got none more she's like okay cool this was a successful mission she's now off to get water and annoy max um all right so i have the ability submit tags in a form when the form sum is submitted i see tags three four five the tags are ids for what the user has chosen i am able to get values from their request posts and object and everything is fine problem is that the user has to select at least one tag all right all right so multiple choice fields oh yeah done i forgot about that all right so going with the move kanban card form we've got the kanban column results oh this is the query sets and the level results all right sweet um we'll also need kanban card results and that's going to be kanban card objects all all right Cool. We've got the new card information. So we've got the new card, Kanban card, a new card column. Sorry, new card level. All right. Yep. Uh, we've got the new sort number. Uh, I'm going to say no. The reason being, so we go back to our this. So the card IDs in the array that we're sending back for both the new and old, that will contain the same ID in there. So we'll be fine with that. Uh, we got the old card information. I'm going to say no. We won't need any of this. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to state here the um, Kanban cell uh, new and old locations uh, cells plus order of cards within so yeah we should be happy with that okay so what we want is New destination equals forms dot and then we've got model multiple choice fields. Uh, that is just what we had in that example, right? Oops. No. I've lost that example. Model choice field. Model multiple choice field is what we want because there will be definitely more than one. Uh, required equals true with a capital T. Uh, query set will equal the Kanban card results. That's all we need. And then we need the old destination equals forms dot model multiple choice field required equals false because if it, we're moving the card in the same column we'll just be like all right we don't need to double up with this data we just need to send one set of data and that's it and then query set equals kanban card results okay so i'm just going to delete all this old data because going forward i think this is going to be a better method to all right, so with this, we won't need this. So we're happy with this, okay? Now, albeit if the person drag and drops in the same column, this data isn't really gonna update. It's, it's just gonna, it's gonna try and update, but nothing's gonna change, if that makes any sense. So what, that's fine. In this sort of case, I'm not going to make this really ultra smart and be like, ooh, if this is going to be the same sort of stuff. Uh, in this sort of case, I'm going to be like, all right, cool. We'll let the RRM just do its thing. It's fine. If we're going to heavily optimize it just because, you know, someone will be like, hey, this is using X amount of cycles. And then, sure, later. Not at the moment. 
because at the moment, if someone's moving the card in the same sort of place, that's fine. This will just do an update. It's not going to take too long to update. Um, all right, so update the sort order. All right, so. Um, the front end will have sent the... Okay, the front end will have sent, sent either, ah, uh, trying to figure the words out. The front end will have sent a set of, oh, why did that go something like that? The front end will have sent a set of um, a set of cards in the new order. Ah. Right, let's get rid of that. The front end will send the following data. What did we call it? We called it Old destination, new destination. Uh, this is a set of Kanban, set of cards, Kanban cards. Don't know why this is happening. Okay, that is a bug, Pajam. This is a set of Kanban cards um, that are in the correct order. We'll loop through these cards and update them. The old destination uh, set is optional. All right, cool. So now we don't have any of this overly complicated logic, which is great. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so first, what we wanna do is, um, I mean, we could do this in two loops. Potentially, yeah. So I'm just trying to think of uh, a way to do this in a semi-smart way. You know what? Let's just get it out. Let's four each. Uh, four. Sorry. Um. Four card in, and then what we've got is form dot cleaned data. Um, and this is where I look up Python for loop with index. just going to have new destination equals uh, form dot clean data dot um, new destination old destination equals form dot clean data old destination now the reason why I'm doing it like this I could have done that at the full loop and all that kind of stuff and so forth is I just want this to be readable at the moment I'm not going to do anything smart. Now, what is the IDX? Um, enumerate.
index and then item. All right, cool. I'm. I don't want to muck things up because I um, don't know acronyms. So I'm going to put new destination in here, and I'm going to put in card. So what we're doing is we're going to get card result or card update equals Kanban card. So I'm just double checking that it is a card. So we've got Kanban card update up here. Which is just this line up here. So we're essentially doing this. So I'm just going to paste that in. I'm going to do that. I'm going to reuse that variable. That will be fine. Oh, I wonder if we can actually add these both. No, we want to do them separate because we want it to restart at zero. Kanban card update dot Kanban card card sort number equals the index. And then Kanban card update dot save. And that's it. That's simple. And the best thing is, if there's nothing in the old destination, it doesn't matter. It will just, it will just go and be like, all right, there's nothing to loop. I'm going to the next one. And that's as simple as I can get it at the moment. I mean, I could, I could put that all in a for loop, another for loop sort of thing, but I'm thinking at this sort of stage, no, no, this will be, this is simpler to do it like this. I know this is the same as this and all that kind of stuff. I mean, what we could do is we can put this in a function and all that kind of stuff. But today, let's just get this working. Um, all right, so now we're gonna deal with the front end. So the check card order, we're gonna be changing this completely. So what I'm actually gonna do for the moment just because it, it will throw up errors when we hit refresh. I'm just commenting it out. All right, we'll be fine with that. Sorry, I'm just hearing if a cat's making it a noise. So we're fine with all this. So on end, we've only made this one little change. All right, and we're happy with that. Uh, so we've also got to manage the front end properly to, but let's deal with the, getting the data to the back end correctly. And then let's just shake the hell out of the front end and see what we can break. Um, because from that point on, yes, from that point on, we could fix the front end and all that kind of stuff. Shouldn't be too much harder to do because it's just a bit of math. So, yeah. Bit of weird math okay sorry i'm just solving the cube again so we've got this new index negative one so if it hits a zero it'll hit a zero which is what we want um now we've got new can and column new card level we don't need this anymore it's disappearing old Kanban card column, old, oh, no, no. Uh, old card sort number, nope. Uh, do we use the card ID? Yeah, 
if we go back here, forms. So we've got the new cat column and level. And that's it. We don't actually use the card ID. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's start a descent. To find cards to change, cards to change. Okay. So that should deal with it fine. That's the front end sort of stuff. And then we send it to the back end. Now the one thing we want, so we've got an event here. And I want to console log that event again. Uh, all right, let's go here. Let's just wait a few seconds and let's hit reload. Now we shouldn't have any console log issues. Great. This all lands perfectly fine. Uh, it's because they're still technically in the right order. If we actually refresh this data here, la, 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 where are you? Uh, the refresh, uh, as you see, oh, top's near zero. Great news. Um, bottom's one, great news. Bottom card is a three and top card is a one. All right, so those aren't working as, at least one of the cards is in the correct spot. But, you know, because it's so few of these, it, it, it's fine. All right, so. We want an on end event. So I'm just gonna move this over here. Now that right operation failed, compute property master list is read only, that's fine. Oh, this is hit the back end. I'm just going to hit play. That's fine. <laughs> we'll fix that up in a minute. But I want to have a look at this, this event stuff. So I'm just going to open it up. So we've got clone. All right. Explicit origin target, which is this. So we've got a from. So if I type in temp zero, from, we get that. Then I can get the um, data set level, I can get the level and I can get the, um, the column. So from that, I should be able to get the data that's in there and we can get that from the view X. So yeah, that should be, that should be hard to get. All right. Uh, sorry, getting distracted with the cube again. I really need to put this across the room. As I just uh, keep feeling with it, sorry. All right, cool. So, when we're in on the end, We'll hit this. We've got the new element, event to, event from. Yep, all right. Oh, wait, wait, we um, we have the, we've got that data. Great, we wanna keep that data. We don't want this, this sort value, old sort number, no. Uh, new sort number, we do need that new sort number. Thinking with your fingers, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fidget a lot, um, yeah. So we've got that data. What we now need to do 
is... So I've just got this all loosely in my head at the moment. It's just... Need to think some more. So we move stuff over. We need to actually get that... This sort values, values and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to wait until after this to do it. So after this, uh, with the Axios, actually we want to do it when we're setting the data. Yeah, we want the data to set up here. So yeah, after this particular thing, get the destinations new sort orders. But we actually handle the sort orders here locally. So I'm actually going to get the new sort orders for the new destination and the old destination. And this is where we would write a simple Vuex sort of thing because the Vuex handles all that data. And before I even do that, let's have a look at the view X. Let's have a look at the components first. So we've got the Kanban board. Let's go to the Kanban row. Let's go to the Kanban draggable to column. Draggable. I think, can I use this one? Viewbex bindings. So all cards. So we want the Kanban column draggable. Okay, scrolling up. God, there's a lot in here. We've got compute mastered list. Uh, let all cards. Uh, so we grab all cards. And then we've got the sort numbers in there too. Okay. So this master list is a what? I mean, we can grab all cards and do the same, same thing here. Um, That's not the nicest way of doing things. But I think at the time that's what I did. But I can shrink this easily. Okay. So, what I'm actually going to do, filter cards, we're going to have two variables co coming through, column ID and level ID. We're actually going to yank that code. From the master list. Um, in fact, we're going to yank it all. Mm. 
like so. And then just paste it in. Uh, at the moment, it won't work how we want it to because this dot column ID and this cop lev ID will not work here. So we need to actually do something like this. Like so. All right. Uh, and then the sort order and everything should be fine. Everything else should work perfectly fine. Then we scroll back up to the master list and we simply just go return this dot filter cards and we just go this dot column ID, this dot level ID. All right, so that shrinks that and then we can actually use that functionality where we need it. So where we need it is just before we send the data upstream. Oh, sorry, um, up to the back end. So get the new sort orders from the old destinations. We can just use that code because we've got those values. So what we have here is, and we just need just the IDs. So we'll map these out. So new, uh, we've got a const new destination equals this dot filter cards. And then we put in the new card column, new card level into there. Then what we want to do is map this where the row returns the row.pk. And that's all we need. Because that will just clonk out the IDs and then const old destination is pretty much the same code. This dot filter cards, uh, old card column, old card level, dot map row, and then return row dot pk. Uh, I'm just going to put a console log. I'm going to go new new destination, old, old destination. All right, sweet. Now that won't take too long to compile. And I reload and then I'll move this over here. We're ignoring the problems. On how to allow it during execution of, oh, it's not even getting down to where we want it to. Component event handler, draggable key, a list, Kanban. Yeah, that's all right. So something's breaking up here. Might actually be this. Actually, no, it won't break it. It shouldn't be breaking it. Um, Ah, I tell you why, because we've got all of this data to Okay. It's failing because this needs specific data. I am getting really sick of that bug. Oh, just as it. All right. I'm going to do this. Hi, how are you? Um, so this is Near Beach. So it's a project management system uh, built using Django as the back end and Vue.js as the front end. It has the ability to do Kanban boards, which we're working on at the moment. Uh, it's able to gather basic like organization and customer details, as well as you can do your projects, tasks, you can collect requirement items and requirements and also request for changes. Yeah. 
Currently we're working through a sort order issue. So if I move this, we want stuff to happen. Yeah, welcome, welcome. I do hope you enjoy it. It is open source and on GitHub. Ah, that's my GitHub. Uh, you'll be able to find it <laughs> from there. Um, oh, what was the... Oh, was that it? There you go. I've forgotten how I did all these things. Um, all right, let's get back to this. So when we move this over here, I'm going to see what do, what details we can get from here and what details we can get from here. Okay. So what I want to do, console log. We want to go target, and that will be event dot two dot. And then what we want to do, because it'll hit the cell, and we want to grab everything underneath it that has a um, this group item. Uh, no, that should be get elements by class name. And we're just going to paste in our keep, uh, it was list group item. All right. We're going to see if that works. So not fix that. Yeah, I know. I've, I've been, I've been bad. One of those things where I, when I just finish, I'm like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> And I forget to actually uh, fix my stream. All right, from dot get element by class name, and we're just going to go list group item. All right, let's see if this works. Let's hit refresh. Let's go to our console. Let's move this. So we've got target has nothing. The from has one element. Uh, all right. So this has to do be done afterwards. Okay. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, I would forget. And it only takes me 15 minutes to do. Okay. Thank you very much, Nocturnal. All right, so... Hmm. I mean, I could undo quite a lot I've done. So I'm just trying to think. So I could undo what a lot I've done because a lot of the front end sort of stuff, that should be still working perfectly fine. We'll need to really shake the bejeevers out of it to double check that that should be working perfectly fine, but it should be working perfectly fine because when you drop something in, it keeps that sort order. It's just the back end screws it up. And then, yeah, all right. So, I'm trying to do something which I just can't. So we're gonna keep these. I... Pretty sure that will be... That is a bug and a half. Yeah. Okay, so we've got all this data. We're gonna send it to the back end still. Like this. Um, I'm 
gonna undo all of this. Comment out system. Okay, cards to change. Why are you red? Unresolved variable PO. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, I feel like I should rewrite a lot of this. In fact, I think I should. Because this should be going into an action in the Vue.js. Vue.js will handle all of this. And then we can go to the front end and then send all that information that's been updated in the back end. Uh, but even then, there could be a race condition where the back end doesn't complete in time. We have to wait for it to be able to send that data. All right. Sweet. Um, so I'm just having a quick think. How will I do this? The idea being if I move a card and place it in between two cards or move a card in the same sort of column, the sort of same. Yeah. Um, drag same column. Go to the implementation of it. Uh, determine the delta, uh, negative one or one. Negative numbers is odd sort is less than the new sort, i.e. move everything back one. All right. And then this handles all of that perfectly fine. Okay, cool. And then the new cards and all that kind of stuff. All right. And I've lost where I was going. All right, send data upstream, no. So cards to change. We then want this after this. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do nine just in case. So we wanna get the sort order of stuff. So we filter the cards by the new cards and cult and stuff like that. Cause everything should have finished upstream by this point. Judging by that for each. So we can do the filter and then we can say the new destination stuff like that is up here. So we just need now data to send dot set new destination and that's going to be new destination. Oh, well, wait a minute. Actually, no, I want to, uh, no, no. New destination. Data to send dot set. Oh no, it would be not set. Append. 
new destination, and then it will be row.pk. Filter data oops to send append old destination road pk and we don't have that data and that will that will handle all of that. Not what I wanted to do, but oh, that's fine. I will have to I will have to think if there's a better way of doing this. So when we move a card and stuff like that, what what do we want it to do? And yeah, um, the idea is I don't want it doing that many calculations because if you got let's say thousands, let's say a, a ridiculous number amount of cards, it's got to do all those calculations when you move something. Uh, God forbid when I actually implement the um, web sockets or something like that where uh, if someone moves something on another computer, we want that information to update here. And we would use math to do it. That way we're not sending every single card information back. We'll be like, all right, this card moved here. Uh, and you, you can use maths to deal with that change. Yes, that's right, socks, maths. So, yeah. Now let's hope for the best. Let's reload. Let's move this. All right, network. Console. New card level is not defined. Yep, and that should be fine. Oh, not filter. That should be for each. That should be for each. I am massively um, typing stuff incorrectly tonight. All right, let's paste that there. It is, all right, we've just got a 400 bad request response, new destination. Did I spell that incorrectly? Waiting a few seconds, hitting reload, moving this over. New destination, oh, why? All right, let's go to request. New destination should be in there. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna split this up. Const new destination equals. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna end that off. And then new destination in here. And then I'm just gonna put a console's log new destination in here. A new destination. And I, I have a feeling that it's not got the new card in there. Uh, in which case then I've probably got to think about what to do. Uh, sounds like you're going to need CRDTs or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. I'm probably going to need to plan this whole thing out properly. Conflict. Ah, yeah. All right, cool. Yes. Yeah, later on. <laughs> let's let's get uh, this working because math was meant to actually make this work. So the idea is if someone was doing stuff, it would just send back the card ID and all that kind of basic information and things would just re-render and move around correctly. Um, in this sort of case, yeah. 
This is a later, later pain. So, I'm gonna move this over here. We have new destination array is nothing. All right, what about our old destination? Change with the timestamp. Oh, okay. I mean, that could work easily. Yeah. Okay. So this will be old destination and then console log old destination. Okay. New destination, unhandled error. All right. Oh, that should be a let. Oh, const, really? Eh, we're getting no data. But the master list is working. Old card column, old card level. New card, new card. Yeah, all right. I'm probably gonna have to rewrite a lot of this. Okay. Let's, uh... Go into dark mode for everyone. Reset the canvas. All right. So, what we've got is a bunch of columns. And a bunch of levels. When we move a card from some place to another place, We've got information about the old place and information about the new place. As soon as you allow multiple people to edit your distributed system, where both hold a version of state and you can go and get split brain. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I'm getting split brain just by um, this whole concept again. I never properly solved it. So. I mean, I can undo everything I've done tonight. Oh, but no, no, the, the back end stuff doesn't work properly. Yeah. All right, let's also have a look at what we've got in our Kanban UX. So if we go to our source, to our JavaScript, to our Vuex, and go into our Kanban view, in here, we've got Kanban results, uh, card results, sorry, Kanban card results, which contains every single card that we need. We've then got the column results, and then we've got the level results. And then, Open card on load. All right, that's just a, I think that's perfectly fine. The state is fine. The mutations where we've got an add card, we've got archive card or archive cards. Uh, works perfectly fine. Update Kanban card. Now that is happening right here. Cards to change. And it's getting the um, proper rows and all that kind of stuff. Um, I should jump into these and see exactly how they're doing it. Because I might move this to the back end. To, sorry, to the view X. And keep it all centralized. 
Uh, probably the best thing to do is to say where it's moved um, relative to one above and below it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just af yeah, I'm just afraid of doing that. Um, because if I muck up that data, all of a sudden, like if let's say I've got a one, a two, and a three. All right, let's say they're all IDs like that. Uh, and here I'll be like nothing, one, and then two. One being the ID of the card. And he down here I'll be one is above, two is current, and then three is below. And then with this one I'll be uh, two is above, three is current, and none is below. My f general fear is if I somehow corrupt one of the cards and go two three, and then one. Which is why I pick sort order. So each of these cards will have a data attribute which says I'm this in all the cards, so forth like that. Um, and it, it makes it a lot easier for me when I am getting that data from the, the back end too because I can order automatically and send it to the front end and the front end will not have to deal with being like, all right, cool, this card belongs here and here and here and here. Um, I've just got to get the math right and the, the, the data right. So update the Kanban card, we do that. So we've got the index location is find index in the row. All right, state find index. Don't know why we're finding the index. Oh, um, that's what I was kind of doing, but it didn't work as I expected. So now what I'm doing is I'm doing that in the front end and then just sending back the new order. Being like, all right, cool, just update the, because the back end, it'll be easy. It'll be like, all right, cool, just loop through them. It's like index one, index two, index three, and so forth like that. So yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a little um, thinky. So we've got update Kanban cards. Um, I've absolutely forgotten what this this particular one does. It updates a card, index, location. Where's that used again? Oh, okay, yep. Ah, oh, that's used at the state. Okay, so the state, card results, index, location. That makes sense now. Field key, payload, fields, key. And the key will be ah, continue. So it skips those and then it hits the field key and then the pay equals the payload and then the key. All right, sweet. So that's just updating everything. Um, that's just a smart way of how I updated everything. Need to do, redo that when you add multiple editors but you can solve the issue then. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. That would actually be great. Yeah. Um, I think, because I wrote this Kanban board functionality a while ago, I think I can simplify this. I think I can make this a lot easier. This I understand now. <sighs> Uh, so for those who don't know what this is doing, so I'm going through every single object keys for the for the payload and for each key I'm going through and being like, all right, cool. If it's either a type or a card ID, we're just ignoring those two fields. 
Otherwise, what we're doing is we're going to the state, we're going to that index location, okay, for those particular fields, those key fields, we're updating that particular one. Pretty easy. Um, initialize payload, yep, that's fine. Now, I reckon we'll definitely be using the actions. So I reckon if I reset the canvas, let's draw a simple Kanban board. So we've got a card here and we're moving the card over here. So it's in a, it's going to a different location. What we want to do is we, this is where I would love to have one of those weapon tablets to actually draw this properly. Um, what we want to do, is we, we want to send up to the back end, the old column. Try my hardest to make this readable. The old level. The new column and the new level. And the new index. All right. For this information, what we can do is we can get the information that's left over in this block. All right, we can filter for those items. And then what we can do is we can order them by the index item in there, the sort order. And then we can just update that order properly. So it doesn't matter if when that, let's say we move it from the second block, you'll have one, we're missing two, three, and then so forth. What actually then happens, it'll go one, it'll rewrite uh, the three to a two, or rewrite the three to, uh, you know, it'll just rewrite all the numbers. As for the new block, what will happen is it will be like, all right, cool. It lands in here. Uh, every, it ignores every single card ID that's under the index. So the N index, it'll ignore. It'll be like, all right, sweet. I don't need to worry about that. Oh, it should get every single item in there. It'll, it'll update itself to that particular card. will update the column and the value and the index. Oh, this is a good one. Um, but every single card, every single index that equals or is greater than that end index. We want to pl uh, plus one too. And I think that will work. And I think that's what we're already doing up here. It's just when, when I was doing this, I wasn't using Vuex, if memory serves me correctly. Or I was just getting used to Vuex. Uh, where is it? So if we have drag different columns, Go to the implementation. So we've got the new card column, new card level. So we're getting that data. We've got the new card sort number. We're passing out the int. Uh, we've got the old sort of columns and stuff. So that's just the return array. So moved new column first. 
So let new column is all cards filter. We're returning all the cards that we want. We're gonna do this at the at the top level. And then I can also remove quite a lot of this other stuff. Yeah, all right. So we remove all that, loop through the filtered new columns uh, and add the required, required data. Yeah, that's just adding in all the new stuff. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's do this in um, UX. So what we want is uh, Kanban card moved. All right, and I just need to do UX actions. Okay. Um, we need a pass through information. So actions checkout, commit state. Um, we've done this before. I think we've done this under the user settings. So we've got commit and payload and the commit will go into the mutation. So update theme settings, update theme settings, update theme, theme settings. All right, cool. And then we've got the Kanban settings. Uh, this one will, with the actions, we've got dispatch, which will update settings back end. All right, so we'll need the dispatch. I believe we'll need the commit and the payload. So I'm just gonna put this over here for reference. We can close the theme settings. We can go in here now. Um, do we want this async? I'm gonna say no for the moment. It won't be too bad. It won't be hard putting it on. So we want dispatch, commit, and we want payload. And this is just a simple like this. All right, cool. So, what do we want to send to the back end? My guess is we want to send the event. So let or oh, const event equals payload dot event. Um, if event equals null or undefined, uh, we just return. All right, because we don't need to do anything. Otherwise, let's go console log event. All right. Yeah, all right. Going back into the Kanban dragged column, what I'm gonna do is on end. A lot of this, I feel like we're gonna move upstream uh, into the view X. So what we want is this dot dollar store dot ooh actions and we've got it move Kanban card 
No, that's no. Wrong, wrong thing. Uh, Kanban card moved. Then we want our object where we've got event is going to be the event. All right, and then we're just going to return. I know this is going to break a lot of this code down here. That's perfectly fine. We're just doing this in baby steps at the moment. Okay. Oh, wrong one. We're going to hit reload. All right. Unreachable code. Yep. We're fine with that at the moment. Let's paste that into there. Ooh. Compute. Property mask list is on read only. We're going to fix that, but this dot store actions is not a function. All right. Because I keep forgetting what to do. Is it store dot dispatch? Okay, I'm going to hit reload. Gonna move this over here and perfect. All right, so we can move everything into the top level. Um, we've now just got to think, where's that little drawing? So, first, we're making the assumption that it's moving from different columns, all right? So we'll create a um, different column one and same column one, very similar to this down here. So drag same column, drag different column. So we're actually gonna, we're gonna use the same names. So view X actions. Oh, this will actually be drag different column. All right, so we're just going to open up the Kanban settings view again. Uh, we're gonna have that as reference over there. Uh, just because what I want to actually see, dispatch update. Update, and then the state follows through. We do want to send through all the details. We wanna send through the payload. So, ooh. There it go. Sorry, I didn't realize the music stopped. We're gonna dispatch, commit. We're gonna have the same things here. We're also gonna pass the payload, like so. Um, and then we're gonna have drag, same column. Dispatch, commit, payload, like so. All right. So we're happy with that. Now, what we need is we need to, from the event, we need to pull out some data. So determine if we are using, dragging to the same location or different location. To the same or different location. So that will be this, uh, that will be const old column equals and it's gonna I'm gonna drag this data over here because this is what we need up here it's essentially all of this so 45 to 57 plus one I'm I'm actually gonna do plus two just in case I'm going to exit out of that I'm gonna hit play paste I did not do that much. Excuse me. All right. So we're getting the new element. We're getting the old element. We won't need the card string ID. Uh, so we've got the new element, new element. Uh, we won't need the index. Here. 
Uh, the sort number we won't need. The column property we won't need. We just need that data. And then what we need to do is essentially copy this across. Depending if the card moves on the column depends. So 75 to... Alright, cool. That's... Now, we don't need to do this. All right, but we need to go into here, and this is where we use the dispatch settings. So we go dispatch, and then we go for this, because the new column equals the old card column, the new card, so this will actually be the same as the um, drag, same columns column and we're just sending through the payload else we need dispatch drag different column payload all right um we won't need anything more here i don't think we're committing anything in this particular thing so i'm gonna remove that and just have dispatch. And what we could do, a sync. We can do this as a sync. Because when we update stuff, we want to, it to await until it's finished before sending it to the back end. Because we'll need to grab data from it and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's best to async all of this. And then that way, what I can do is I can go away. Like so. All right. So what will happen here is we're dealing with a different column first so if we go back into our little drawing the here so first we're grabbing the old column column and level so I'll just call old call and level actually we need to update the card first because that card will no longer be in that location. Oh, we can ignore it. We can filter it out. Because we'll get the ID. Sorry, when we're going through the loop for the old destination, we want to exclude this card in here. So what I want to do is I want to get this, this, and I want to get the card ID. All right, and the card ID will be just one of those exclusionary things. Uh, so we're like, all right, cool. Everything in the old column with the old level, except that card ID. And then we just do that for loop. So we sort everything into X already that sort of loop that we want. And then we just go through and yeah, we fix things up. Uh, we should be able to in this Kanban board. Cause we've got this, we've got the payload. We need to send through the ID. So if I go down here, we've got the update card ID. We've got the column level. So for this and the sort array, we I don't think we need these. We just need to update it with this, this, and this. All right, sweet. So going over here with the actions, drag different column. And I go over here. So, first, 
what we want to do is we want to grab all data from the old actually I know this is a bit of double handling but we need this data so I'm copying it sorry I'm just pasting it in and then I'm just gonna go um, required data okay up the top so one um, grab all old column slash level location cards and reorder so that will be as simple as and we will need state in this one state dot campaign card results Ooh, we'll need we'll need to filter this so let's call this a const reorder cards equals and then we need to filter where we're going for row and row dot uh, we want conditions let's go const condition equals row dot filter dot level equals the old card level and row dot filter dot column equals now that should be three equals the old card column and it should be three equals there two So that return condition is true and the row.pk does not equal and this is where we need the ID. So I'm just, okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do uh, const event equals payload dot event just to make things simpler and then card id equals event item data set dot card id all right and then this is just going to be uh card id sweet So from here, grab all the old column level locations and reorder. So we'll just grab this. And then we just need to do a simple loop that will send information back. Now we should also do a sort on this. All right. Java script sort array by ascending. And this is where I always get confused and always forget and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I know we've got to do it like this. All right, sweet. That's how we do it, ascending order. So I'm just going to paste that in. What we're going to do is we're going to slot it on here. A, B, such that, ooh. Yeah, this is going to be a bit harder than I thought because JavaScript sort array of objects by key value all right oh, okay no no it's dot sort and then we just do that all right so it'll be a dot field no 
Sorry, it's just my partner. Am I back? All right, yeah. Yes, 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 I can. Um, now it should be a dot fields dot, and then it's that uh, sort order Kanban sort number. All right, give me two seconds. It's up here. Fields, and then dot Kanban card sort number. And then it'll be minus, and then b.fields.kanban card sort number. All right. That should do it. So we just got all that. And then we can do it for each in there too. Yeah. That's going to look very messy. <laughs> all right. Um... Just thinking how I would do this to neaten this up. All right, no, I'm gonna separate it. I I can I can put the four each against this and all that kind of stuff and yeah, but in this sort of case, I think it's getting a little too messy up here and harder to read. So I'm going to fall back on the good old let's just do this as a separate thing and comment the hell out of this this whole entire process. Um, all right, so we've got to grab all the cards and stuff like that, uh, and then to update the ordering. All right, so this will be essentially this code up here. This dollar store dot commit. So we've got a type being um, update and then card. We've got the card ID being the row dot pk, and we've got the Kanban card sort number being the index. And I believe we can just go index here. Um, and that will be perfectly fine. That's all we need. All right, cool. I'm gonna test that. And then something else happened. Uh, right operation failed, computer bust. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. We're actually gonna fix that with this method. So type error of row dot filter is undefined. Uh, where did I put row dot? Oh, it's a saved word. It should be filled fields. Okay, cool. So the condition is row.column, yep, yep, yep. All right. Yep. And we can simplify this. I'm going to simplify this. Mm. 
condition one. Ah. And condition two and condition three. It's just going to make it easier for me to read later on. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, that way I can be like, all right, uh, comment this out. Um, the, the columns, levels, uh, match, and the primary key is not the card ID. Um, hello, Glow. How are you? I am doing good. Thank you very much. I will be finishing very shortly, but welcome, welcome. I am working on Near Beach. It's a project management system. I've had a bug issue, which turns out it's a bit more complicated than I wanted it to be. And we're working through it at the moment. And I've realized that there's a bit of complicated code that I really shouldn't be putting in one particular position. And I should be moving that into the um, Vuex area. So I'm currently moving that into the Vuex area in hopes that it will make it easier on the front end when um, I need to query data and modify data. So the idea is I want to be able to move a card and have Vuex be like, great, I'm going to move that card. Everyone hold on when I re uh, redo all these calculations. And then hopefully once it's moved, it can actually get the data and be like, great, cool. Send this off to the, the back end to update. At near beach. As in like you're close to the beach. So yeah. Alright, so we've just done that. I'm happy with the sort order. That's self-explanatory. And then update the ordering. That will work perfectly fine. Alright, so I'm gonna hit reload. Hopefully I haven't done any more spelling mistakes or Silly naming convention. So I've just moved that. That worked fine. It hasn't updated this card yet, but that's fine. Quite far off. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, welcome. Welcome. So yeah, I've been working on this for a number of years now. Um, however, at the end of last year, I sort of decided I was going to fix all the bugs and underlying issues um, and sort of went towards what I called the 030 branch. So we're now on the 030 branch. We spent 10 months actually cleaning up a lot of the code, cleaning up quite a lot of the um, bugs and stuff like that. So yeah, just blame his Australian accent. three open issues on GitHub, uh, that is not a lot. I don't keep all my issues on GitHub. I've been using Utrack to also currently track issues. So the good thing is these should now be open so everyone can actually see all these issues. Uh, the idea is I've currently got 15 issues for Near Beach directly. That's gonna increase as I do a bit more testing. So with this particular patch, I do want to shake out Near Beach as much as possible because there's been quite a lot of contributors this month. Uh, there could be a couple of issues being passed through uh, just because people aren't familiar with the source. Um, so yeah, just gotta do a shake out and then fix those issues. But a lot of these issues, if we actually have a look at the priority, uh, we've got two major ones, which we're working on right now, both of those. Uh, we've got three normal ones, and then everything else is minor and low, which is great news. Yeah, and thank you very much for the follow. I do hope you enjoy my content. So, yeah. All right, so we've got the update the ordering. This is where I go back to my diagram. So we've updated the ordering and stuff like that. We're happy with that now. So that should have completed the original location. Now for the destination. So two, the destination. 
So what we want to do is we want to grab all the cards from, we want to update, we want to update our card ID. And we want to key it in at, with the new destination. Yeah, all right. So, the third thing we want to do is update the cards information. So, we want to go up here. We've got the new card, we've got this. I am going to grab some more details. We want the new card sort in number. So, I'm pasting this in. I'm going to negative one straight away. All right. Uh, because if it lands on zero, we want zero. If it lands on uh, one, we want one. But the problem is it's counting from one. So we need just a negative one there. Uh, we, we've got the new card column and new card level. So down here, we go this dollars store dot commit type is update Kanban card, card ID will be the, oh, this will be the card ID. Uh, the Kanban, we're just scrolling down here. We want the Kanban column to be the new card column. We want the Kanban level to be the new card level. We want the Kanban sort, card sort number to be the, now this is the, what did we call it? It literally just copied and pasted it, didn't we? And we just suddenly forget. Uh, new card sort number. New card sort number. I believe that's all we need to update. Now, for the... Oh, that's fine, Glow. Yeah, welcome, welcome. I do hope you are enjoying my stream. So, number four, what we need to do is we need to concentrate on the new column, the new level, so this new location. I'm going to use the color green now. That doesn't look like green. Uh, <laughs> that... That looks, oh, that's background, oops. All right, that's the green I want. So I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. So we wanna focus on this one now. Uh, well, what we wanna do is we wanna filter everything in the new column and level. Once again, we want to ignore this. This is where we deal with this math over here. So everything less than this, we don't worry about. We don't update. Everything that is greater or equal to that, we suddenly focus on. So for filter for the new column level, I'm gonna copy the same sort of location cards. Um, Update for all cards that have a sort order greater or equal to the new card sort number we want to increase by one. All right, and because it's moving from somewhere else, we don't need to worry about a gap in the data, which we would with the same column. Um, yeah, so that makes it a lot easier. So what we could potentially do is we, uh, this should be reorder old cards, all right? Like so. Sorry, I just wanna make sure that 
if anyone reads this code later, they don't accidentally be like, all right, reorder cards and click on the, the wrong one. I know I've done that before. All right, I'm actually undoing that. Because that was horrible. Uh, all right. We are 82. So 82, 92, 98, all right, yeah, I'm yanking 17 lines, pasting it in. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm a bit the boss about it, it, sure, I need to type in a few more extra lines and stuff like that. That is fine. Now, We'll need to get every card in there, apart from... Yeah, just sorry, give me two seconds. We need to grab every single card but the ID. So we'll have every single card that's, that, was, that is in there before the move. And then what I need to do is go through with the index, much like we've done before, and then when this condition's met, we plus one. And that will work perfectly fine. Yeah, that'll work perfectly fine. All right, so reorder new cards for each row and stuff like that. Um, actually, no, that's, we're not there yet. <laughs> um, we need to do the index properly. So, const, this will be i equals let i equals index. All right. If index is greater or equal to the alt, uh, sorry, the new card sort number and i equals i plus one that good old chestnut and then we just need to pass in through i like so uh all right but we'll go through this properly I'm gonna zip this over here for a little bit so we can focus on this. So we've got reordering new cards. We've got the state Kanban card results we're filtering for when the is, now we've got to definitely change this. So this will be new card column. This will be new card level. We're making sure that we don't have the card ID in there because we don't need it in there whatsoever. We're not modifying this card. This card has been modified above. And then we've got to make sure all those conditions are met. We're happy with that. We sort it by the Kanban sort number and we're happy. And now we update the ordering. Once again, this could be done in one massive sort of, uh, what is it called again? Nocturnal, you just wrote it. Um, comparison function. Oh no, no, not a comparison function. Uh, I keep forgetting when we string up functions against functions against functions. I've just split it up just for readability. Just like how I've slipped this up into condition one, condition two, and condition three, it's a lot easier to read. Especially for those who are new. So with this, um, if the index is equal or great, then the card sort number will um, max it. I uh, will have to add plus one to it, all right? And then it just updates it. And yeah, that will work. So that's all we're doing. Now, we're, the best thing is a lot of this code will be gone because we've just condensed it and put it in here. Um, we're not worried about, we were doing quite a lot of steps in the old method and we've simplified it. Believe it or not, we've simplified it. <laughs> so, 
Let's see if it works. Don't know, I was doing CR for work, so I lost contest. Uh, I, I keep forgetting uh, when we string up functions after functions after functions. I do it quite a lot when do, do uh, when dealing with D3 and stuff like that. Like, we've got this um, filter here, and then we sort, and then we could get this for each after this sort and stuff like that. I keep forgetting what that's called. Names and acronyms I'm terrible with. Absolutely terrible. So, we've got this. We're going to hit reload. So, in theory, if we move it here with... Uh, um, this dot store is undefined. Ah, yes. All right, cool. This shouldn't be a dot store. No, it could be. What? It's just a commit. We just need a commit. We don't need the store. A pipeline. Yeah. Cool. And come next stream, I would have completely and utterly forgotten. I'm terrible with names. How near beach works? I know about 80% of it. All right, sweet, that moved. And if we read this, with the view X, we go into the Kanban results. Our uh, number one should technically be near the top, but it doesn't always necessarily mean. So there it is, number one. It's the new column, new level, and the sort number is zero. All right, sweet. I'm probably gonna call it there because it's 10 past 10. I've gotta to go to my partner's place. I've then gotta wake up early and take my bike to get repaired. The fucking axle fell off again. Um, or crank, sorry, fell off again. Um, just after getting it repaired. Uh, great fun. So yeah, let's call it there. What I'm doing. Ah, and we're, we haven't been breaking any unit tests during this whole entire process. Forgot that was running. Uh, get status. Get checkout near beach static because I don't need to upload the static files. Get status. Uh, remove coverage. Get status. Check out coverage. So git add, oh, actually, no, git checkout branch. I'm gonna branch this out. So I'm gonna call it, um, I'm actually gonna give it, we actually look at this. Kanban boards, loading page for some strange reason. We've kind of fixed this one. We know the problem. Uh, in fixing this one, we're fixing both of them. So, but I'm going to call this near beach 1106. Near beach 1106. Kanban um, board fix. Okay, git push set origin uh, near beach 1106. And ban board fix. Status. Git add. Git commit. Sorry. Um, initial uh, moving of the sort functionality in Kanban board into the view X. Git push. This is where I do the upstream origin near beach 1106. 1106, yep. Uh, Kanban board fix. All right, sweet. Let's find someone to raid. Oh, I typed in Kanban instead of Twitch. Uh, Sick players playing. All right, he's playing Modern Warfare. Uh, let's do talk a bit. We it's been a few days. Oh, he's offline. Don't worry, that solves that problem.
So I'm just trying to find who to... Let's do Adrian. Yep. Got an ad. Make sure I do that in the right chat. All right. Cheers. Anyway, thank you very much everyone for coming tonight. It has been wonderful. We are getting there. This is a very big task. I'm hoping that, um, because once again, I wrote this code, um, would have been ages ago and I knew I needed UX back then, but I hadn't actually figured out the UX. Moving a lot of this, this sort of business logic into the actions works. I reckon it will simplify this whole entire process. I reckon next by next stream, we should have this all fixed. Uh, which would be great and yeah, and then we can fix a couple other bugs So yes, anyway, thank you very much. I'm waiting for these ads to finish. Holy hell How many ads do they have? Uh, not their fault. It's Twitch's fault um, So yeah, anyway Thank you very much everyone, and I do hope you enjoy um, Adrian's uh, stream We'll wait till the ads are over until I raid. All right. Let's hit raid. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. What could this give me? See if I did, um...